Hi, this is Alex from Grizzly Entertainment. Today we got another book on record episode to do. Today's book is The TV Chipmunks from 1984. So let's get started. Breathing 
heavily, she struggled to lift it onto the counter. Oh, let's cut the piece, shall we? She asked the studio audience. Then, she screamed as the chipmunks popped out and scattered. Alvin shouted to his brothers. For the second time that day, the chipmunks raced down the hall. They could hear the guards coming after them. When they reached an office, Alvin pushed open the door and said, What's hiding here? Who are you? Asked the man inside. A sign on his desk read, Harrison Winters. Alvin gasped. Mr. Winters, uh, uh, we're the chipmunk. He turned to Simon and Theodore and said, Here's our chance. Hit it, guys. And the chipmunks burst into song. When they had finished, Alvin explained to Mr. Winters, We've gotten thousands and thousands of requests to be on your television rock show. Our fans write all the time. Mr. Winters mused, Really? Well, you bring me those letters and I'll make sure you get on the show. That night, Alvin organized things. He began by explaining, Simon's computer will help us turn out those fan letters in no time. Then we'll get on the show, and even Scott will be impressed. Simon typed on his computer. Alvin and Theodore wrote letters by hand. As the hours went by, the stacks of mail grew higher and higher. As Alvin scribbled furiously, he asked, Simon answered, 16,482, and you? Alvin said, 585. What about you, Theodore? Four. Said Theodore sleepily as he drew a heart on the back of an envelope. The next morning, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore were exhausted. Theodore mumbled. Dear Alvin, please pass the note. Yours truly, Theodore. Then his head drooped and he fell asleep in his cereal bowl. Dave came over to the table and told them, I think you boys look sick. You better go back to bed. Alvin pretended he was sick and said, <laughs> Then Theodore asked groggily, Go to bed? After all that work? Surprised, Dave asked, Work? What work? Theodore is feverish, Dave. He doesn't know what he's saying. Said Alvin hastily, and he and Simon dragged Theodore away. This ought to fool Dave said Alvin a short time later. He carefully tucked three hot water bottles under the bed covers. Each bottle had a face drawn on it. Then Alvin added, Now to get this fan mail over to the TV studio. Each chipmunk grabbed a huge sack filled with letters. Then they quietly tiptoed out of their room, down the stairs, and past Dave, who was in the kitchen. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Dave was saying, This oatmeal should make them feel better. He went upstairs carrying a tray with three bowls on it and opened the chipmunk's bedroom door. The window shades were down and the room was dark. Dave whispered to himself, Oh, they're fast asleep. Then he placed his hand on one of the chipmunk's foreheads and cried out in alarm. Oh my, they're burning up with fever. I've got to get a doctor. Meanwhile, the 
Chipmunk stood anxiously in Mr. Winter's office, waiting for his reaction to the letters piled on his desk. Finally, Mr. Winter said, All this mail is very impressive. Okay, boys, you're on the rock show. Go to Studio A. The chipmunks cheered. Hooray! You won't regret this, Mr. Winter. They turned to leave, and Harrison Winter settled back to read some of the letters. He pulled out one at random and read, We love your act. Hope to see you on the rock show. Sincerely, Harrison Winters. What? Mr. Winters gasped, then shouted out, Hey! These letters are fakes! Come back here, you three! But it was too late. By the time Mr. Winters arrived at Studio A, the chipmunks were already rocking and rolling on the air. So that was the TV Chipmunks from 1984. Now I used to watch this TV show back in the 80s when I was little it was, and it was real good. I think it came on Saturdays. So please like, subscribe, share, comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be Rocky vs. Clever Lane.